morning everybody. I really do hope you're having a wonderful day. It's not always the case with the turmoils that we go along with in this world. <clears throat> I'll try to keep this one a little bit lighter and more inspirational. I just feel like my life is kind of like a science experiment right now. It's kind of like you're mixing chemicals or not really not mixing chemicals. But you're stirring stuff up, you're trying new things and you sit back and you wait to see if it blows up in your face or turns into gold or some sparkly awesomeness that you didn't know existed before. <clears throat> it's early, it's tired and cold, but I usually do my best work like this. So it's like when, when God in the universe smack me on the ass and tell me to get and do something, I do it. So this video, I want it to be inspiring. I want you to think about some things, yourself mostly. I try to, I try to empathize with so many different aspects of what's going on in the world. You got the truckers that are doing their thing, and you got the, the people that are fighting the mask mandates and all that stuff. And then you got the people that are pushing it hard. They're really weirdos. I mean, they're talking about sterilizations, and I mean, these people are psychotic, especially in Canada. I mean. I understand if you're if you're the, a lot of these people are paid actors. That's the best way to put it. How they get into positions of power where they actually can tell, "Hey, cop, go over there and arrest this person." And they say, "Oh, well, we don't have that kind of authority," but yeah, they kind of do, and they kind of use, abused it. Cops are not the, pol politicians aren't supposed to be able to just call up a police station and say, "You need to go over there and arrest that person." That's kind of not how it works, but apparently. It does work. That's the way it's been working in Canada, in Australia, and in now in America, because they're going after these January Sixers. That's what they call them. Oh my God. The insurrectionists and a bunch of people standing around the White House, I'm um, the, the Capitol, just cheering and being cool, and they were getting their asses kicked by a bunch of Capitol riot police, apparently. There's all these videos coming up, like a guy getting thrown off a second story balcony. Just, yeah, beating the crap out of people while they're unconscious with. And it, yeah, um, what, and that's another thing is I don't know if there's any accountability with these people. Imagine if you're in charge of the Capitol, like Pelosi, right? You could these could be paid actors. These might not actually be police officers that are trained to be cops. These might actually be people that they activists they bring in, they put in uniforms, and they say, "You're gonna guess what you get to do today? You get to beat the crap out of people you hate." And that's what it feels like. It's like, because when you're a professional, you don't go around beating the crap out of people with a bayonet when you're a cop. Your job is to protect, force, you know, guard, perimeter, but your job isn't to go out in the streets and literally bust up crowds, beating the crap out of them with the bayonet. That's not what a cop does. So it's almost as if they're getting activists to do this, dressing up like cops or something, because it doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> Especially when you're supposed to be like neutral. Obviously, these cops at the Capitol were not neutral. They were like, like that lady got shot. I mean, come on now. That dude executed that lady. And she was unarmed and just peeking her head in the window. Lord have mercy, right? I know. See, these are the things I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with um, Ukraine. That's just a hot spot. There's so much anger and, and sadness and fear going on there and generated. That poor president, that guy. You know, actually a decent human being, a, a good guy. He was finally put, the old, the last president of Ukraine was the president that Biden told to fire the prosecutor. He was gone. He was a corrupt piece of shit. So this president was obviously voted in under Trump. So he's a different, he's a different guy. He's actual stand-up kind of dude, right? So, so what does the White House do? What does Biden do? He offers to fly the dude out of the Ukraine and save his ass. The guy's like, screw you. I'm saying to my country, this is my country. I'm fighting for it, right? ballsy right good man we need more like him uh, but then again we don't need to be fighting but you know everybody's a puppet to somebody right but uh, and if you're not a puppet god help that dude right because if you know if he's not if his if he's not serving his masters the globalists the you know all them people i know i'm supposed to be light on this one huh i know but this is the energy this is what i get i pick this up and i'm like damn and my job is to turn it yeah, 
I have to transmute a war. I have to transmute all the fear, all the hate, all the, the psychosis, all the shock, all the trauma. And I gotta somehow transmute that into joy and light and love and rainbows and puppies and kittens and puppies and yeah. Now you know why nobody wants to be the damn enter emperor of the universe. It's a tough gig. I mean that. So <clears throat> today I'll try to do some transmuting. I think it's about time for a ceasefire in that part of the world. We got bigger issues to deal with like freedom, like my freedom, like your freedom. Freedom to laugh, freedom to be jolly. And I've I've done some stuff on my YouTube channel. I'm trying to change it up. I'm changing the standard YouTube whatever policy or whatever <clears throat> to give more creative freedom on my behalf. I'm I'm learning as I go because they don't tell you this stuff. They just told me. And I've also learned how to do get out of the my videos are categorized as people blogs. So I'm trying to move them around to different entertainment and sports, or whatever, whatever I'm topic I'm talking about which is kind of what it's supposed to be. If I'm talking about, let's say, Tom Brady retiring, I should automatically go into a sports, you know, feed or whoever's talking about sports or him. That's exactly where that should go. Not people, you know, nobody goes into per personal blogs and wants to hear somebody babbling like me. Unless you're really charming and wonderful and you're spiffy and you, you got stuff to talk about and you keep it, you know. Anyway, so I'm sorry. I try to keep it light. <sighs> Look, I'm working on the transmuting, okay? It's, I'm still in the process. It's early. I still haven't had, drank my freaking coffee yet. Give me my coffee, and then I'll start the transmuting. I'll start standing up the love and light. <sighs> Those poor people. I don't know. They need hugs. Putin needs a big old hug. Biden needs a smack on the back of the head. And then maybe a hug. I don't know. See that? See that's the worst part about being the emperor of the universe is one and is having to actually feel for somebody like Biden. I wanted to give him a big old hug. Hopefully he's not a reptilian. That would be icky. But the point is, I got to love everybody and I got to care about everybody, and even the knuckleheads. And I'm just gonna give him a mental hug. And I'm gonna send you mental hugs. And I'm gonna try to do another video today. Maybe some, it'll, you know, if something pops to me, comes to me, you know, while I'm shuffling my cards and my thing, I'll pop out another video. Hopefully, it'll be a really good. There's a video I want you to go check out that I think is really funny. It's Blazing Saddles. I did it. It's early on in my, in my archives. And when I was in Montana, I was just thinking about the, how tense everybody is and how nobody has any, and like comedians couldn't even be funny anymore because. You know, they used to do college circuits, but they couldn't do college circuits because none of these kids were funny. They wouldn't laugh at any of their stuff because it was just like nothing was funny. They were just like, they didn't have any humor. It was like this. It was horrible. Everything was so politically correct. You couldn't laugh at anything. Everything was offensive. So it was like, shit, they couldn't even do college circuits anymore. But anyways, yeah, Blazing Sales. It's a great video. I love it. Anyway, I'll, like I said, I'll try to pump out something more piffy and fun and lighthearted. And trying to think about going to Newport and because summer's coming and if I don't go to SAC to hang out with my sis and help her out I'm just gonna go up to Newport and hang out on the coast check out the ocean I miss the ocean I do I don't know why I miss it I do <clears throat> maybe tomorrow or next day head out to Newport and see some whales that's awesome see that's how you transmute the I got it within I got to keep this little peace and joy in my space and and that way I can project. I'm not, I'm not being attacked by assholes or whatever. But, you know, it is what it is. I've been. So I want you to have a wonderful day. <laughs> it's early. I'm so, I'm so tired. Have a wonderful day. I love you. God loves you. And the universe is really digging you in those pants, baby. You sexy bitch. You. Okay. Have a wonderful day.